In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a Google Ads campaign for your junk removal business step-by-step step from scratch. I'll walk you through the entire process and go through every step you need to get right if you wanna start generating leads and booking jobs from Google Ads which is absolutely possible even if you're a complete beginner. For those who don't know me, I'm Daniel. I run a marketing agency for home service businesses and I have a lot of junk removal clients. So everything that I'm going to show you in this video comes directly from what's working today in 2025 for junk removal businesses. But enough of me talking, let's just jump into the video. Now, the very first thing we wanna do is head over to Google Ads and actually create our Google Ads account. If you're a complete beginner, if you scroll right below here, there's a bunch of different offers that you can actually get if you're just starting your Google Ads account today. So you can spend $600 here in the first 60 days and get $600 back in ad credit, or you can spend around 3,600 in the first 60 days and get $1,800 back in ad credit. Now this is unbelievably great if you're just starting your Google Ads account today. But for me, since I already have a Google Ads account, I'm just gonna tap on start now. And I'm just gonna select my demonstration ad account. We're just gonna tap on this now. So now we're actually in the Google Ads dashboard. The first thing we wanna actually do is head over to tools and then go over to planning and then keyword planner because we wanna actually find the keywords that we're gonna bid on and exactly how much people are paying to appear at the top of the page when it comes to Google Ads as well. So the first thing we wanna do is tap on discover keywords and then we're just gonna type in something related to our service. So let's just do junk removal and we're actually gonna change the target location to Texas. So as you can see here, just tap on include and then tap on save. Now let's just go down and tap on get results. So as you can see here, we're actually gonna get the most relevant data to how much people are actually searching for junk removal in Texas and how much the other junk removal businesses are paying to appear at the top of the page. As you can see, this is in Australian dollars. So for USD, this would probably be around $17 and the top of page bid low range would probably be around $3. But as you can see in Texas, junk removal is an absolutely huge thing. They got 9,900 monthly searches on average which is absolutely crazy. So what we wanna do here is just grab all of these. I'm not gonna grab this one here that is a competitor. I'd prefer to create a separate campaign that bids specifically on competitor keywords. So right now we're not gonna grab that, but let's just keep grabbing the rest of these and just really make sure to remember the top of page bid high range over here because we're gonna be using this later on. But since this is just a demonstration ad, we're just gonna copy these keywords now and we're actually gonna paste these over into our notes because we're going to use these later. So as you can see here, I've pasted all the keywords into my notes. So now what we wanna do is actually start building the campaign. So just tap on campaigns over here and tap on create new campaign. So the objective that we want is leads and the conversions that we want to track is phone call leads and submit form leads. Now, don't worry about the little warning sign here. I just haven't verified my conversion actions just yet. If you want to learn exactly how to do that, I have a link in the description to my school community that will teach you exactly how to do it there. But if you already know how to do it or just don't care about doing it, just tap on continue. Now, we're going to select our campaign type. The type of campaign that we want is a search campaign. So we want to be appearing when people search up junk removal. And the way that we'd like to reach our goal is actually website visits. We want people to go and land on our website and then submit the form there. We don't wanna have lead form submissions because these are Google's lead form submissions. They're absolutely horrible and they're a waste of money. So I strongly recommend not using them. So now just paste in your website here. I'm just gonna use 1-800-GOT-JUNK just because this is a demonstration ad account. Now just tap on continue. Now the campaign junk removal and then tap on continue again. Now this is where 99% of people make their first mistake when it comes to Google Ads is they start their new campaign on conversions when they've never had any conversion data in their Google Ad account. What you wanna do is actually start this on clicks and set a maximum cost per click. If you remember the top of page bid high range that I was showing you before on the keywords, this is why that knowledge was useful because now we know the top of page bid high range is about $22 Australian to appear at the top of the page. That's kind of the maximum that people are spending. So for us, we're gonna set our maximum at $22. We don't wanna spend any more money than that. Now just go down and tap on next. Remove Google search partners and Google display network. They're really hard to track and they're just absolutely horrible at getting results. It's just a bit of waste of money. So scroll down to locations and we're gonna enter in a location. So we're gonna tap on advanced search. And for this demonstration ad, let's just say we live in Austin, Texas. So now since I did that, it brought us down here, but if we wanna actually be a little bit more specific, let's remove the large targeting and actually just target individual areas. So the best way to actually do the targeting here is just targeting per zip code. So we wanna just scroll through here and do it like this. There is two different ways to actually do the targeting as well. You can go and tap on radius over here, tap on pin mode and just drop a massive pin. And as you can see, we have this massive targeting area. But I suggest you don't do it this way just because you can't increase or decrease bids based on zip code or postcode. 
where if you do your targeting based on postcodes, you can actually increase bids on areas that are converting higher and lower bids on areas that don't convert as much. But once you've done all your targeting, just tap on save. And you wanna really make sure to tap on this location area and click on presence people in or regularly in your included areas. If you have it on presence or interest, people from other areas, other cities, other countries will be able to actually see your ads when they type up junk removal in that town or suburb, which is exactly what you don't want. You don't want anyone that doesn't live in these areas seeing your ads and tapping on them. So if you wanna really save yourself some money, just tap on presence, people in or regularly in your included locations. Obviously have a separate language if you're doing different languages in your area. No, this isn't a political EU ad. Now tap on next, go next again, scroll down and go skip. So let's grab all of our keywords here and let's just paste them over here. Now, right now, these are all broad match keywords. We don't want broad match keywords. We wanna make these exact match keywords, but I'll show you the easiest way to change these from broad match to exact match right after we're done creating this Google Ads campaign. So now that you've done that, just scroll past and let's actually start creating our ad. So you can put in the display path here, which is just an extra bit to your URL. I wouldn't really bother with that right now. The main things that you should be putting in is your phone number. So let's just add in this phone number here and tap on apply. And as you can see right here, my phone number has appeared there. And now let's start actually building the different headlines. So the best way to do these headlines is to just be super keyword relevant to what they're actually searching. So most people would search junk removal near me. So what we're gonna type in is junk removal near you. So this is unbelievably relevant to the person that's actually searching that search term. You can also have different things like speed and convenience related, like same day junk removal. This is really just to push that convenience and urgency because most people just wanna get rid of it as fast as possible. So it's really good to just have that right on there. You can also put price in any headlines as well, but obviously since this is just a demonstration, I'm not gonna fill out all 15 different headlines, but I'm actually just gonna scroll down and change the descriptions for you as well. So now I've just added in two descriptions here. And as you can see, this is what the actual ad looks like now. It looks absolutely amazing, but we're not done just yet. We'll just keep scrolling down. You wanna add in as many images as you have, usually just photos of your truck. And if you've got site links, so just links to different parts of your site, you can put them in here. So you can have things as like your image gallery, about us page, you know, what we take, the pricing information, just contact information as well. For cool outs, I typically don't bother with these. They don't do much for your ad. They're just little extra bits at the end of the description. In more assets, you can add in things like promotions, pricing. To be honest, those are kind of the main ones that you'll be using. So if you're running promotions for, you know, this month or anything like that, or if you have set pricing or specific cool out fees, you can add that in here. But once you're actually done with that, you just go down to save, tap on next. And now you just wanna set in your daily budget. The best way to do this, in my opinion, is just set it to what you can actually afford per day. But if you wanna go the agency model of how much I'd recommend as an agency owner, I'd say you typically wanna grab the top of the page bid, high range bid, which for this was around $20. And then you wanna times that buy 10 and that'll be your daily budget which will be about $200 per day so this should basically guarantee you about 10 clicks per day and most junk removal business websites convert around 20 to 30 percent so if you had a 30 percent conversion rate that's three different people calling you up each day for you to remove their junk now that you've set in your daily budget just go to next I do just want to say quickly before we publish the campaign as you can see we've got this little warning here at the bidding right you're going to get this if you're focusing on clicks but you want to actually start off on clicks for your first month of running Google Ads if you have no conversion data. And after you've got about 30 plus conversions in your account, you can actually switch this over to conversions. But right now, if you have this on conversions without any conversion data in your account, you're going to be spending an arm and a leg for anyone to convert on your page. So setting it up like this will keep more money in your pocket. But anyway, let's go back to reviewing it and publish our campaign. So we're not fully done just yet, guys. We still need to change our keywords from broad match to exact match. So you can save some money and not waste any money on people who aren't actually interested in getting their junk removed. So how we actually do that is I'm gonna change this over to search campaigns because it's a search campaign. We're gonna click on audience keywords and content and then tap on keywords. Then as you can see here, here's all of our junk removal keywords. And we're just gonna tap on this, tap on edit, change all match types, and then change these over to exact match. This way it will change them all from broad to exact without you having to manually do it on each individual one. All right, guys, I've taught you exactly how to set up Google Ads for your junk removal business. But if you wanna actually learn how to set up the conversion tracking, as well as optimize your Google Ads campaigns, so the longer you have a campaign running, the better the results are, tap the link down below and check out my home service marketing course because I'll teach you it all there, as well as exactly how to set up highly profitable Facebook ads for your junk removal business as well. But I hope you enjoyed the rest of the day and I hope you found value in this video.